Hey, two peoples, Tracy here. Okay, um, I just wanted to do a update on this wig. Um, I've had it for a long time, and um, it only looks this nice because I haven't worn it like every day, but I did wear it a lot. And this is the, uh, I think it's Free Tress Kitron, okay, and it's in purple. Okay, that's not the only thing I want to talk about, but I wanted to show you guys that this wig was actually a very well-made wig, and I also had it in the other color, which was mixed with blonde and black. And um, so far, she's doing quite well by me. Um, like I said, I didn't wear her every day, and I think that even if I had, you know, for like weeks on end, that she would still look this nice because she doesn't look much different from the time that I bought her and did the review on it and that was two years ago so I may do some updates on wigs that I've had that long just to show you that with minimal wear they can still look really nice because I'll tell you right now I have not come across a synthetic wig yet that you could wear it every day or every other day for several months and it still looks fresh I don't own any like that so I have a lot of them and I switch them out and I learned early on that that was going to be necessary in order to um, maintain them, in order to, to keep them. Okay, so I can get a close-up here. And you guys can see, you know, the purple and uh, how I had to, you know, I didn't have to pluck the hairline or anything. It wasn't, that wasn't necessary. And this was back in the day when they weren't making 13 by 7 wigs, so this is not. This is one of those you got to switch it, you know. And uh, I have these barrettes, you know, in contrasting colors because it brings out the color that they made. So this is one of the better free dress wigs, I thought. And um, the only problem I had is that this wig was very hot. In the summer, you could not maintain this wig unless you just weren't out in the heat. So in the summertime, I just managed to not mess with it. But um, every now and then I do put her on and I haven't had to do anything to the curl pattern not that I could if I wanted to and um, Again, you guys if you guys can hear the street my apartment faces the street. So th that's the noise you're hearing. But anyway um, Yeah, I I still very much adore this unit and I still have the other color which is still nice I don't know where I put it in my closet, but I keep my wigs in bags and I have almost 80 wigs uh, at one time I had more and I got rid of them and I gave them away to because uh, my mom works for uh, a company that uh, helps out adopted children so there were a lot of little kids and a lot of young girls uh, that needed new hairstyles so I gave my wigs away and my mom you know took them and took care of that okay so yeah this is a very nice wig still I have no complaints even though I have had it for two years and I have worn it quite often you can see that the curl pattern is still there free dress did a amazing job on these on this wig okay my other reason for doing this video is that I wanted to discuss something um, and you guys can tell me, has anyone noticed that over the summer, and maybe a little bit before, there were barely any wigs to review that were different or exciting? Um, to me, an exciting wig is a 42-inch wig. I'm a long hair wig girl. That's what I like. This isn't one of them. I liked it because of its color. But um, have you noticed that the 42-inch wig craze seems to be over? Um, I think that a lot of women stop buying the wigs because they stopped doing that. And my thing is, why couldn't they have made a 32-inch wig with a 13 by 7 part? Why couldn't they do that? Why don't they make some wigs now with, with the Spanish wave and make those 32 and beyond? You know, because they could easily do it. They can make the same wig that they want to make and make it in different lengths and make three times the amount of money. You know, make it short for another woman, make it 32 inch for other women that want it, and 42 for other women that want it. It's time for them to do something, because I'm thinking that the whole wig buying thing is starting to go down the tubes. That's what I'm noticing. I haven't been able to review a lot of stuff because there hasn't been a lot out there to review. And the 13 by 7 is great, but I think 13 by 7 with a lot of length, 13 by 7 with a lot of length and, and different color going on, 
that would be fabulous. But for some reason, they don't want to do that. They want to keep things conservative. And to me, anything less than 32, in my opinion, is boring. <laughs> boring! Okay, so I don't know what is going on, but I know that something in the wig buying thing has different, and it isn't good. I have noticed this, and I know I'm not the only one, and no one's talking about it. Second thing I want to talk about is why don't they give us the directions that are necessary to make a straight synthetic wig keep its luster like it did in the box when you get it? Why don't they put some wig spray in the box? Put some directions in there that really tell you how to maintain the luster of a synthetic wig because the synthetic it reacts negatively to body heat. But there must be something they can coat the wig with so that it will last and that no matter how many times it touches your skin, it's not going to get all clumped together by the end of the day. I have had at least several straight wigs. Remember the MLH 100? Everybody was crazy about that. Okay, and I was crazy about it. Well, I'll tell you right now, within two or three days, that wig was trash. And I had to make it wavy thinking that that would help it to last longer. Well, actually, it helped it to look pretty, but it still clumped together by the end of the day. So there's got to be an answer as to how you can prevent that with a wig, and it is not the standard video where you steam it, and then you straighten it, and then it's good to go. I'm sorry, no, because within 24 to 36 hours, it goes right back to what it looked like before you did that. So that's not the answer. There are no videos out there that are telling you just what the wig makers do to the synthetic fiber to make it look the way it does when you get it, and they don't give you directions on really how to keep it looking the way it did when you get it. Because if they did that, you'd buy less wigs because you could just keep the one you got and make it look nice and maybe, you know, occasionally buy another one and do the same thing. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to know because it, it hurts sales. But right now, I think wig sales are hurting real bad because all summer long, there was nothing to review. There was hardly anything to review except something that came to here. And maybe because, it, uh, you know, I'm not buying the, well, it was summertime and it was hot and nobody buys wigs in summer. That's bullshit. Okay, because years ago, d throughout the summer when I first started doing this, I was still reviewing wigs in the summer and people were still buying them and I was buying them. So it's not the heat. It's the fact that there's nothing out there that has captured anybody's interest. Hardly anything. And you got the same people reviewing wigs that they just reviewed two weeks ago that it's the same company, or it's a different company with the same type of wig. I don't want to see any more straight wigs with the perfect hairline, okay? There's enough of that. I don't want to see any more wigs that come to here that, that can do all funny things at the top. There's, that's already out. Okay, we need to see something long, luxurious, like I said before, wigs that are really long with a different color at the bottom. You know, like, like Azalea Banks wigs used to be when she first started, if anybody's aware of her, how beautiful her hair was. I didn't see any synthetic wigs that were even close to that, and they could have made them. Okay, so that's a good example if you're uh, aware of her in her first videos, how her hair was looking. Nobody had that. I mean, those were human hair. That was a human hair wig or, or weave that she had. But they still could do that today. Make them long. Okay? Not just because I like it, but because it's fascinating. Okay? Or make it 28 inches, but give it some color at the bottom. You know, different color at the bottom, maybe black at the top. I mean, do we have to get together to make ideas so the wig companies will know what we want? Because I don't think they're getting any, and I think the whole thing has stalled. I think the whole wig reviewing thing has stalled with the exception of a few people that are still receiving wigs from companies and they're receiving whatever they get, they just, they review it, they don't ask no questions, they just do it, okay? Um, I guess I would have to do the same thing if they were sending them to me, but I would send them some suggestions. Can you guys make some wigs that are longer with some color at the bottom or make some wigs that are 13 by 8 or 13 by 7 really long or, you know, covering the waistline or whatever and... Put some, you know, different color in that. There's a lot of creativity they could do, and they can improve upon the braid wigs and not charge so much for them. 
You know, there's a lot of things that can be happening. Because I'm telling you guys right now, if you haven't noticed, the wig game, to, in my opinion, is almost over. Something is going on, and it ain't good. And I know I'm not the only one. So please let me know if you know what I'm talking about. If you've noticed this, please let me know. And if you have Kitron in purple and you still like her, let me know that too. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. There'll be more discussion and hopefully more wit reviews if there's something out there to review. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.